Hello friends, uh, in this video we will see another problem related to the ratio and proportion. So the problem is the incomes of A, B and C are in the ratio 12, 9 and 7. So 12 ratio, 9 ratio, 7. Okay, And their spendings are in the ratio, spending. So in the ratio 15 ratio 9 ratio 8 okay if a saves 25 percentage of his salary if a saves 25 percentage of his income his income then what is the ratios of savings of savings of ratio of savings of savings of a b and c okay so the incomes of a b and c are in the ratio 12 ratio 9 ratio 7 and the spendings are in the ratio 15 ratio 9 ratio 8 okay if a saves 25 percentage of his income then we have to find the ratios of savings of a b and c okay so the Incomes of A and B are in the ratio 12 ratio 9 ratio. So we can assume the A's income is 12x and B's income is 9x and C's income is 7x. Okay, we can assume. So A's income is going to be equal to. Uh, we know that income is equal to expenditure plus saving right income is equal to expenditure plus saving so these incomes are in the ratio this one so a's income is 12x b's income is 9x and c's income is 7x equal to expenditure and that means spending the spendings are in the ratio 15 9 and 8 so these a's expenditure is 15y okay and b's expenditure is 9y and c's expenditure is 8y because 15 ratio 9 is 8 so now we have to add the savings okay so a is saving if a is saving 25 percentage of his income so income is 12x and 25 percentage of this one so that is 1 by 4 of this one so that is going to be 3x okay so the saving of a is 3x so income of a is 12x and his uh, expenditure is 15y and his saving is 3x right and next and uh, this one is the actually expenditure and this one is the income and his saving is going to be equal to 9x minus 9y why because his income minus expenditure so whatever left actually that is his uh, saving right and this is the income this is the expenditure and his saving is going to be equal to 7x minus 8y okay these are the three equations and we got so from this from this first equation so we will get so 12 minus 3x is going to be 9x is equal to 15y okay 9x is equal to 15y so then y is equal to 9 by 15x 9 by 15 3 3 ja and 3 pi ja that means y is equal 3 by 5 x 3 by 5 x so now we have to find the ratios of the savings of a b and c so from this it is clear a saving is 3x and b saving is 9x minus 9y okay so a saving is 3x and b saving is 9x minus 9y and c saving is 7x minus 8y 7x minus 8y okay so now we know the value of the y so y is equal 3 by 5 of x we substitute that one here so first one is 3x and second one is 9x minus 9y y is equal to 3 by 5 of x okay ratio 7x minus 8y y is equal to 3 by 5 of x so this is going to be equal to 3x ratio so 9x 9 3 is 27 by 5 okay 27 by 5 so that is minus 27 by 5 uh, into x ratio 
So this is going to be a seven minus a three is a twenty four. I mean twenty four by pi into x. So now x x x is cancelled. So this is going to be equal to three ratio nine five is a forty five forty five minus twenty seven forty five minus twenty seven. So that is going to be equal to eighteen by five ratio. Seven five is a thirty five. Thirty five minus twenty four. So that is going to be eleven by five. So if you multiply each one by five, so we will get fifteen ratio. Eighteen ratio eleven. So the savings of A, B, and C are in the ratio fifteen ratio eighteen ratio eleven. Okay. So I hope you got this one. Thank you very much for watching this video. and please subscribe my channel